Hey y'all, welcome to Reality TV. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Now let's get into this tea. Crystal says Caesar is throwing her and their daughter under the bus all for a storyline. Check this out. Um, am I live? Is on? Okay. I don't do this. I don't know how to do this. So um I wrote a couple of things down. You know. Is all right, I'm gonna wait until a couple of people come in. This is crazy that I have to address this but you know for something that was um personal right a few months ago uh he went and he posted Cheyenne's father posted um a statement that was put on the shave room that was going to be a personal matter right now they need it for a storyline so First and foremost, if you don't know who I am, I'm Cheyenne's mom, Crystal. You know, I go by Crystal and more. Um, I'm going to address who I am. I've been in corporate America for 20 plus years. You know, I've always held my own. I have, you know, a good paying job. I have 401k, health benefits, all that stuff. Regular mom, you know, single mom. Um... This all happened in October, right? Cheyenne went live in January, right? When it happened, this is what happened from my daughter's point of view. And I'm her mother. I'm going to believe my daughter, right? Because that's what a real mother would do. Yeah, my daughter has faults to certain things as all teenagers do. But there's a lot to a backstory from what happened with Cheyenne that night. And what was going on with her father. So first and foremost, they weren't there. They were out. They were always out. Cheyenne used to go live all the time when she was in Atlanta. Let me backtrack. So Cheyenne went because there was a pandemic. I live in the city. Cheyenne wanted to go and get away. Normal teenage stuff. We have disagreements. It's normal. She wanted to live with her father because her father stated that he, want, he was going to move out to Atlanta permanently because New York City was shut down. His shops was closed. He needed to go, you know, make money in Atlanta. So I said, my my suggestion, I said, why don't you take Cheyenne with you? And summer school ended because by this time is the end of May, right? So it wasn't eight months that he claimed on a TV show that Cheyenne was um, out there with him or that she never seen me or whatever for eight months. That's all cap. Cheyenne went out there in May, right? So the whole summer up to pertaining to October, right? Whatever happened that he went and told Cheyenne to wash dishes before he went away out to eat or whatever, or went to work, whatever, and came back around 11 o'clock. Cheyenne was with her music in the shower. He told her to lower the music. She didn't hear the music. He bangs on the door. He breaks in and they, Cheyenne's getting out the shower at, the, at that time. And they, you know, he goes and he arguing his girlfriend saying whatever they had company in the house. They saying whatever. So it amped him up. I'm assuming because this is what my daughter's story is. It's in a police report, actually, too. And that's public record. You know, um, he gets physical with my child. My child has a towel on. My child barricaded herself in a room with a dresser and called me because she didn't have her phone. He took the phone Called me through her laptop, her i her iMac. So, um, she calls me frantic. It hangs up. I try to call him. He don't answer the phone. Whatever happened. So, then when I finally get to speak to him, nine one one's called. I called nine one one. I'm in New York. She's in Atlanta. You're damn right. I'm gonna call nine one one if I can't get in contact with anyone. To find out what the hell is going on. My daughter's crying. She's bleeding in her face. Her weave is... You would thought man, my daughter had a fist fight with a female. I'm being woken up out of my sleep. Like I said, I, I work. You know? So, all that happening. I'm like, I got to call. Because it needs something. What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know nobody in Atlanta. I do know people in Atlanta. But I don't know nobody that I could call at that time as an emergency. All my peoples is here. 
So the police get there. I'm speaking to the 911 operator. That's public record too. And I have copies of the 911 call. I have copies of the police report, right? So all that, the police, they were fans. So he tells them, oh, you know, dispute my daughter, you know, over some chores. They, they, they brush it off. My daughter in the police statement begs them to take her. They didn't. They dropped the ball in Atlanta, right? This is what happens. So she stays. I'm on the phone with him. We sit on the phone for mad long, like at least three hours. Him trying to calm down. She's hysterical. She don't want to stay there. I'm telling him, please let her leave. He was like, well, if she leaves, she has to leave with the clothes on her back, which she did. I paid for I didn't, I paid for her plane ticket, but I was so frantic and my mind was so all over the place that I paid for my own ticket to get down there. Cause I was like, I don't even know if I should drive to Atlanta or take a plane. So at the end result, I had a plane ticket, didn't even get on a plane. She came on a plane over here, right? She left in the middle of the night. He didn't want to give her her phone back. I had to beg him like, she's going to be in an airport waiting until 6 a.m. for this flight, and you're going to leave her house. She's supposed to get around and get... He was like, oh, that's not his problem, right? So all that happens. He finally gives her the phone, right? Real nasty about it. In the meantime, while I'm on the phone with him, his girlfriend like, oh, she's um, disrespectful. Granted, she's disrespectful, but this is between me and him. We the ones that the parents. I don't need no outsiders. They, yes, she was in the household and she was playing the mother role that she's so she wants a medal for. You know, at the end of the day, it is a situation that me and him. I don't need no extra sidelines because I don't have nobody on my end being a sideline. So, you know, she was like, oh, she could get the fuck out then, whatever the case. So that's that's the energy that was going on at that time and moment. As a mother, I have to protect mine. And I have to make sure she's good. So she got on that plane, came back. When she came, she had bruises on her. The police report, they took pictures, okay? I have pictures, okay? So that's that. So going back, that happened in October. The reason why Cheyenne went live in January was because between October and January, there's holidays, right? You would think that her father... Like he said on a TV show, oh, you know, cool off. I'm going to call her. You know what I'm saying? Check on. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy New Year. None of that happened. Cheyenne did not block him because I told her not to block. He wasn't even blocked from my phone. Right? So that happens. No word from him. The woman is antagonizing and gaslighting my daughter on her social media because nobody was blocked at that time. Right? So... October, November, December, they go on, on um, where they went, Disney World for Christmas. My daughter sees that. People are forgetting that my daughter is a child still. She's going to be jealous. She's going to see that y'all replaced her or she feels replaced in any way. And I'm the one that has to pick up the pieces of my daughter and say, no, your dad really loves you, whatever. But he's not posting, but she's posting and antagonizing and posting like, oh, you know, you're replaced. He's taking care of my kids. He's a great stepfather. That's getting Cheyenne upset. So, listen, she's holding all that stuff in. I have to get my daughter therapy because of this. She went live. It was a lot of things that happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, think back. She Maybe she would have, should have not went live, but she went. It happened. Things happened. It, it, it is what it is. She goes live. She says what she says. Let me show you this FedEx. That happened January 2nd, 3rd, right? So, because we're basing what was said on a TV show, right? What date is that? January 13th, 2021, right? Miss Torres, I am getting a cease and desist mm. on my daughter, not on me, mm. on my daughter, for my daughter to shut the fuck up, basically. Mm. Don't tell nobody that your father beat you. And don't, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention that he didn't even put this lady on time. Like, not even that you could put a grown woman, your girlfriend on timeout because as me. But it's just like the fact that you, 
you didn't say nothing. Like you allowed her, you've put a statement out. Oh, we're going to do with family things. But now you need this whole fucking shit for a storyline. And then I'm ceasing this is to, to stay quiet or my daughter to stay quiet. You even sent a he even sent a cease to, to a cease and desist to a ACF to ACE to the Department Child Protective Services of New York. I'm gonna get to that, right? So that happened. So now January 13th, right? Um, cease and desist. So if you think about it, right, the show, they showed oh he missed his daughter, all that. He never called his daughter, right? Three months. Went by before Cheyenne went to on live. Never, sorry, never called my daughter, right? If you look at all the people that's on the show, Grant, and mind you, let me tell you, I do not want to be on the show. I feel like I was embarrassed from the last season. Yeah, I did some crazy fucked up shit with Kitty or whatever, but if y'all know how TV works, they prep you for all that. And then they went and twisted it to make me look like the bad guy. I seen how TV work, whatever. It's cool. It's not for me. I'm a woman of a certain age. I have a corporate job. I'm not trying to be on TV or that rah rah shit, that ghetto drama. It's cool. Y'all do y'all thing. That's great. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I was put on a TV show with my daughter to make him look good because he didn't have a storyline after Duchess. He needed something to prove that he was a good dad because, yes, we were going through problems of child support and stuff. I don't care how much money I have, you or, or how many money I don't have, you and me had a baby together. You not gonna go and and you not gonna go and support and take care of her nothing. And not for me to not to let it be known. My daughter's seventeen, so when I was together with him, we broke up when my daughter was like four. He has not been. I've been pushing for my daughter to, and him to be a relationship. He's been a part time dad for most of her life. The most time that she's ever spent with him and had a relationship that I pushed. When I went to be on TV, for, to put him on TV with her, to make him look like a good dad, it was me. I'm the one that did that. You know what I'm saying? He was a, a, a steady dad for three years only because a TV camera was in front of us. Right? Ho Sorry. They keep on calling me. Um, where was I? So, if you look at all the people who are on that show, when they went to um, Atlanta, it was in January. So you're capping that you're calling my daughter trying to make things right. Oh, you have to do a tattoo to get your mind off your daughter. That's in January. So when did you call my daughter? In Jan and I mean, that happened in April. They all went to Atlanta in April. So you went and tried to call my daughter in April to try to make things right when that happened in October? Mind you, didn't say happy birthday to me. Oh, didn't say happy birthday to Cheyenne at all. You know, oh, because... An ACS case was put out. Yes. ACS was called. I don't know how it happened. It happened. ACS was called. They knocked on my door. They're investigating David Emanuel on the allegations that was taking place in Atlanta. You know what he did? He went and sent a cease and desist to the child of oh, uh, um, ACS. Excuse me. Sending a police report. Um, sending a, um, a, a, a cease and desist to ACS. He also went and told ACS when the investigator went to contact him, oh, speak to my lawyers. You do that? That's, that's what we do when we rich and or, or, or quote unquote rich or famous or, you know, a F lister or, you know, E lister uh, famous. That's what we do. We think we're untouchable. You know what they did? He was found guilty in the state of New York for neglect on his child. It's public record. So because of that, what happened was he went and, and tried to do a retaliation and call ACS on me. Said that I was using drugs with my daughter. That doesn't make sense. People that really know me know me. I don't do drugs, okay? I d hardly drink if I do. So I took a drug test. I didn't have to. I, I volunteered to take a drug test, came back negative. My daughter took a drug test, which she should have had not even been degraded to do. Dick, everything came back negative. So they realized that it was retaliation from on their part called say some crazy shit. The point that I'm trying to make is that don't go and you try to use for something that you said that was supposed to be private and you're trying to fix it to be a great dad. Now you're trying to save face and you're using your daughter. How could you lie on your own child? That doesn't make no sense to me. Like what kind of man are you to lie on your daughter just to make yourself look good? I don't have 
to do with none of this. I wasn't there. If I was, if the tables was turned and I was to beat my child like that, he would make sure he get all types of lawyers to make sure that um, I was put in jail or something. So it's just crazy to me that because I'm defending my daughter, now I'm all this or whatever Ted said on his thing. That, that is like, whatever, I'll take that. But I have to defend my daughter and what's went on. I haven't gone live. This has been gone. I thought this was behind us. I'm dealing with shit behind the scenes. You know, I, we're in court now. On if We have a court date coming up this week. That's public record too for order of protection. That comes hand in hand. So that's not me. They're going to put an order. They, uh, we have an order of protection. My daughter has an order of protection against her father because he was found guilty of the nigga that he can't adopt. He can't do none of that, you know? And in the meantime of in between all this happening, I have receipts of the woman talking about me, voice notes, people sending me voice notes. She's having conversations with random people, um, fans that whatever they, in her DMs, you know, talking about me, you know, text messages. Let me tell you, this woman since here, and I haven't, and I, and I'm, I'm the type of person. You, it's girls that he's dated that we've been cool. There's two, matter of fact, there's two girls that follow me to this day that used to fuck with him, and he stopped fucking with them, and they were cool with me, always cool with me. I don't have. This is not always a thing. I'm not obsessed with him. I don't care for him. I have my own nigga. Like you know, what I'm saying I don't understand why is something that they have to continue with the story. Oh, she wants him. Nah, I don't. I really don't. So the fact is that you're going to go and you have this woman. She has ruined every female relationship in his life. He has sisters he don't talk to because of her. His mother he doesn't talk to because of her. His daughter he doesn't talk to because of her. And they're going to go say, oh, yeah, he couldn't contact her in April for her birthday because she has she has an order of protection on him. And that's what we wanted. No, this this is how it has to be. You know what I'm saying? He's, you see the type of character he is. He is very disrespectful to females. He's always, he used to be disrespectful to me. I was in a mentally abusive relationship with him too. And back in the day. And I, I, we grew out of it. I thought we grew out of it. And when he went and he hit my daughter and the way I seen my daughter, that broke my heart. As a mother, it broke my heart. I can't understand that I'm here dealing with this here and, and, and a man going to go and want to save face and put his daughter and his bit and the mother of his child in the mud just to save face. To keep a TV show that's ghetto as fuck with drama. That's all they possess is drama for black and brown people. I don't want to be a part of none of that. It's, it's whack. It's really whack that you're going to do that when it's, 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 it's in the pudding, my man. Like you sent me a cease and desist and now you're using it for a storyline? You put a whole con of a statement out. Oh, it's supposed to be private matter. And you running it for a storyline? So if me and that should never happen with Cheyenne and me and Cheyenne never, you know, did. What would you use for season nine? Like, this shit is wild crazy. And I, it's upsetting that I have to deal with this. My daughter's in therapy. You know what I'm saying? I'm in therapy because this is very heart, heart, disheartening that I, we have to deal with a man who is like, he's like really self-centered. You know, and, and it's messed up that it, that you wouldn't put a woman in check to diss your daughter. Like, she said all types of whack shit. Like, nobody's saying nothing about her being a prostitute or, or being a stripper or having an OnlyFans. I'm not saying none of that. But you went, you went low like my daughter's on your level. And I'm scared to death that my daughter will turn 18 and this girl will come after her. I'm even telling my daughter not to apply to colleges in Atlanta. Because this lady is really crazy. And it's sad that we have to deal with that. And I think that he's scared of her. You don't even want to know the half of the abusive the things that my daughter had to witness while she was down there. Them fighting each other. Like that shit is wild crazy. And I have to protect mine. So I'm, I'm wrong for protecting my daughter for bringing her up here. I'm wrong. Look. I don't know what to tell you. Y'all can think what y'all want to think at the end of the day. Hey, y'all. I got a skull for 
and I grew up getting robbed for y'all. I'll put the comments back on because I don't know. Y'all know, you know vibey. Stop. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, because it, it's like sad. So now they're going to drag this whole storyline for season nine so your viewers could be. I don't want to be a part of that. This is real personal shit. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's sad. We have to deal with this. At the end of the day, when the TV's off for that hour, I still got to deal with this. Got to get lawyers involved. You paying for lawyers to shut me up. To protect your brand. But you the one that did wrong. Yeah, you should have talked to me. You had three months to talk to us or try to make it right. And then look, Cheyenne goes live because she's mad because a, a grown woman is, is gaslighting her. And then somebody going to call AC. Of course, there's millions of people, many of y'all people fucking watching. Somebody going to be dumb and go do that dumb shit. Throw us under the, under the bus for a storyline. It's sad. I'm bitter baby mother. How am I bitter argue, baby mother? Don't that don't even don't, make no okay, sense. Don't argue. It don't matter. They can think what they want to think. Nobody putting bread in your pockets. Good. You already know people going to say that. How am I? It, it, no. I'm hot. Mom, you don't report, all that. Yourself. It's none of that. So all that is public record. You know who has it? Gossip of the city. She had it on her page. Somebody showed it to me on her Patreon. She has all that. So there's people that there's gossip pages that really have all that to show um, what's really going on behind the scenes. And then producers went and told me they wasn't going to talk about it. Lying. That's why I don't trust none of these. V. I spoke to a VH1 exec. A VH1 exec told me he wasn't. Oh, we're going to make sure because you know what that is. If my daughter wasn't strong enough and she would have committed suicide or something because y'all talking about her on TV. Like y'all don't even care. Y'all dead don't care. Y'all just want money. As money is e root to all evil, mad greedy for money. And you know what I'm saying? It's just like heart is disheartening. And what am I supposed to do as a mother? Thank you. As women, we shouldn't be allowing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? As women, you know, a, a woman, you, you, she's a mother herself. So if, I, if it was the other way around, she would be at my door. And I'm, everybody knows that I'm not that type of female. It's like so crazy to me. And the funny thing is we were really good. We were really good co-parenting. He was having all types of different women for the past three years. I had my nigga, we were chilling. We were co-parenting. You know what I'm saying? Everything was good. And that one incident happened and then you just don't, you just break out. Don't say nothing. You chose, chose who you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? You, you dissed my daughter. You kicked her out in the street. Took it way too far. And whatever they're going to do, they're going to go and try to talk and say all types of shit. Oh, you know, I live in the projects or whatever. But Niggas act right, like they right, forgot right, where right. they from. Wait, I'm gonna Wait say they something. forget where they come from. And I don't live in the projects. I live in a co-op. And so what? But like, so what? So if you really want to know what it is, you know, he wanted me to move. He was he he offered to move me out there. And I said, no, I did not want to move out there. What is it that you want to say, Cheyenne? She's upset because I won't let her go on live because, you know, I don't, this is, this is my time to say my piece, you know, and for this long, I have not said anything and I've been really like not wanting to address nothing. You know, it's, it's so crazy. He's not even on child support no more. Like I don't even want it. I don't care. Like I wash my hands because I don't want to have nothing. Like there's no coming back from this. How do you come back from this? How do you come back from this? It's been fucking thrown in public eye. How do you even come back from this? And you're talking about you love your daughter. How do you love your daughter when you're doing this? You could have said no. You could have stood up and said no, that you did not want to have, you know, um, to be had posted on, on a fucking TV show for a storyline. My daughter, I'm going to protect mine, whether she's uh, right, wrong, or indifferent. That's what a real mother does.
So with and that being does, said, she does not want my father to stop saying that because she does not want my father. They could think what they want to think. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm oh wait. Mm. <laughs> but how you taking care of somebody else's kids? You can't take care of your own. Whoa! What? Mom, what is that filter? I don't know. Oh, like I don't that. know. I'm Mom, just take I'm take the free? No, I don't, <laughs> don't want to take the filter off. How do you take the filter you off? Mom, you get old. I don't know how to use this. How many filters you got? I'm gonna take his money and then, yeah. Hey, Carl. That's shaft. I know. People, uh, people um, try to say that they're saved and put all kind of Christian stuff on, and they, 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 um, the devil in sheep clothing, you know. And I don't believe that shit any either. And it doesn't matter, even if we did live in a project, you supposed to take your family and, out. And 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 no, I don't even want that because that was offered to me and I didn't. So at the end of the day, it's just like, you know. It, <laughs> Look, I don't I don't even know what to say no more. I said my piece. I said what I have to say. And, you know, I know this is going to go viral. I'm not doing this for no kind of oh um, fucking, no kind of clout. None of that. Because if I was, I'll be on, on, on fucking live every second. I hardly be on my social media. I post little mm -hmm. shit and that's it. Don't touch up. Get off the live. Hmm. But we're happy. We wish them the best. But if, okay, and if my daughter's a spoiled brat, and and it was it was it worth it? Was she supposed to get yes. her ass? So was she supposed to get her ass beat on TV on, on in her his house? And when she inappropriate, she has woman parts. She's and 16, it, 17 but That don't make you a spoiled brat. Yes, I was um fed. And he's.